Hi all, Get him Steve Dave here. So, recently we've all seen the video where a lady puts a hamburger and some fries out on a table and films it every day for 180 days or so. And she's remarked that, you know, she's remarkable that there's no bugs such as, I guess, larvae or maggots, which, which can only come from a fly landing on it and laying an egg. So, unless you have flies in your house, you never get maggots or it didn't mold or grow bacteria or smell or anything else like that. So, while I don't believe it's faked, I do believe the conditions were optimized, as it were, to promote the fact that it, those things wouldn't grow. There was also really no control, things move, the hamburger shrinks, fries shift. So, in an effort to prove that it's just basic the meat drying out, it has a high salt content, or higher than normal, well not higher than normal, but it has a high salt content compared to just a plain meat, that more than likely, it, it dried out like beef jerky, the bun became hard like a crouton, and the fries have little to no moisture in them to begin with just due to the frying process. So, what I'm going to do is, in my house in New Jersey, I'm going, I the window, didn't have the windows open for a while because it's nice weather out, I'm going to leave a a plate with a hamburger and fries from McDonald's that I, I just bought. Got my receipt here. I'll be glad to show that to anybody. And I, I set it up. I'm going to spin you around here. I set it up on my table. You see, I have a watch. I have a meter from a uh, humidifier. Okay. I also have a motorcycle here. Got a hamburger plane, fries, you know, minus a couple that I ate on the way. I'm, I'm a little bit of a pig, sorry. And in the background, we have an atomic clock, which sets itself to the clock out of, I believe, Fort Collins, Colorado, so that we will always see a clock in the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have a, a webcam set up right there, attached to my laptop, which you saw before, and I'm going to have it take pictures every, I, I, I forget how often, and I'm going to make a time-lapse movie out of it, so that, you know, you won't see the burgers or anything move, and we'll see what actually happens in a natural environment. I've also included a watch, which is a... Casio with the um, keeps track of the tides, so it's really tough to not fool it, but to reset it and get the tides accurate. Because I took me two hours just to do it the first time. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down this camera. I'm going to hit uh, record on the using Yaw Cam and my um, Microsoft Life Cam, and hopefully in a couple months we're going to see if this food actually, you know. Uh, decomposes, biodegrades, molds, or whatever, and, and we're going to get the real truth behind this. And, you know, like I said, we can keep track of the humidity. So, let's see what happens. Thank you all.
so just wow. I just came in from doing my chores, and I go to check on the, the burger and the fries, and, and you'll never believe what I found. I found this, people. That's right. The burger and fries are gone. S seriously, look. Not a thing, nothing left of the burger and fries. Maybe just a little faint burger residue. I don't know. Maybe that's, that's all the preservatives, and, you know, the natural stuff uh, disintegrated. You can see the clock in the background. So... Maybe the natural stuff disintegrated, and all that's left is this is just the preservatives that are in the food. So I think this shows that in the real world conditions, McDonald's hamburgers, uh, the French fries, even the packaging that they're in, will dissolve, disintegrate, whatever, in four hours. So if anyone has any questions, you can um, uh, reach me on Twitter at Get em Steve Dave. You can reach me on Instant Messenger at Get em Steve Dave. And you can email me at getemstevedave at gmail.com. Y'all have a good night, and just think, that's why you feel so hungry afterwards. That's the only reason you feel so hungry afterwards.